Hey guys, it's Riff Raff, and today we're checking out Desktop Dungeons. It's a game I've had in my inventory for a little bit, but I haven't checked it out. Um, I'm about, I'd say about uh, 30 minutes into the game. Had some issues trying to record it. Uh, it doesn't seem to like windowed mode too much. And uh, so I didn't get too far. But let's go ahead and pick up where I left off, which is kind of past the tutorial um and i think i did two dungeons what is this thing it's it's, it's sort of like a uh a coffee break type game where you can get in there do a little dungeon crawling and then uh get on with your day you can play it in short spurts uh change kingdom hmm. i'm still pretty new to it but uh so far i like it it's pretty good let's See if we can do something here. I've got 98 gold. Basically, uh, you improve your kingdom here, your little refuge from the world by spending gold. And at basically, I just un unlocked one extra class, which is the mage. And I think the church. Yeah, and the thief then. So these two can be upgraded, but what does it take? 150 gold, so then we can make a thief. Two bit trickster put into a 32 bit job and doesn't have any particular heroic abilities. Uh, Alright, well, we can't do any of that. So let's just go into one of these dungeons. It's said that the lord of this dungeon shrugs off magic and maintains a charming collection of wizard skulls. Bring your big, biggest sword. Alright, so they're basically saying don't bring a, a mage. I can respect that. So, we only have the one race so far. Human, fighter. Alright, so the human fighter, one of his traits is he can see where the enemies are if they're equal or lower uh, to his level. What if there's a shortcut for pickup? Um, as you explore different uh, squares, as you reveal this fog of war, it heals you. So let's see, I'll just go ahead and attack this guy. Yes, it's super meat boy. I don't know how to get him in this game. So as I revealed these two squares, I was able to gain health and mana. Recharge. It uh, necessarily costs you to backtrack. There's no penalty for doing that. But if you're backtracking, you don't get healed from more mana. Right, just pick up a couple of these potions. That's a permanent health up, I believe. And I don't really have any special. Uh, you, you don't start off with anything except for your. Heroes innate traits, like being able to see these guys. So I leveled up to two. You can see a few more of these guys pop up. Um, I've got full health, so I'll try to uh, explore as little as possible until I'm damaged, but it's not a big deal. We're on top of this one. So if I right click on this guy, then you can go over here and say attack. And if you have any spells or whatever, they'll show up. Um, it's just a different way to do it. It shows you also what's going to happen. You, there's, there may be some randomness, I'm not sure, but I, I'll take, I take that back. I don't think there's any randomness because it'll always tell you you're going to win, you're going to die, you know, what's going to happen. So, I didn't even take any damage. I just want to go own some face here. So barely alive if I hit this guy again. Which is true, I'm barely alive. Um, so if I go over there, I get healed. I still only have seven hit points though, so. Oh, cool. Yeah, let's grab some of this stuff. Fully healed now. Come back here, kill you. Uh, usually you find some skills or some extra stuff at this point. I haven't been in this dungeon before. Cool, leveled up again, which heals me. That's cool, so keep on fighting. Those guys, no chance. Wimps. Ah, okay, here we go. So, burn day rays. 
Yeah, pick up. This is our fire spell. And then there's also like hints and so forth. Get back to full health before fighting the next monster. Yeah, I know, I know. Alright, so I don't want to read it. I want to use my stuff. I'm going to use burn to raise. That guy's hurting. I'm at full health. Get my mana back anyways. Oh, what's this thing? Oh yeah, it's a biceps. I think that's a consumable. Strike erodes three percent resistance. Is that grab this? Um, full health. So try to leave some of that stuff unexplored. Oh, I'm just getting levels like crazy. Okay. This is want to fight and cost five mana, but it summons a monster. I don't know exactly why you want to do that. I guess two, so you can level up more, you can fight more battles. Let's try it. Alright, so created a level four guy there. I'll burn him. Five is pretty tough. That when you use your burn spell, your fire spell, it uh, doesn't take any. It doesn't take a turn. Cool, so he's dead. I can now go. I think. Do I want to. You can. Oh, is that what this is for? Okay, so you can. Get these conversion points. Humans get a 10% attack bonus for every hunter. Alright, so. Does that mean I'm getting 100 if I do this? Let's try it. Okay. Bonus, 20%. So I wonder if I can keep doing that. Need another uh, one of these things. Yeah, it does. Okay. Keep going. You guys are gonna wish you were dead. Pick up. I've got a lot of stuff here. So the the mana and health potions we, um, stack adventure hey over here I will hit you with the furball not yet though he's level five he's gonna work me sub dungeons yes I haven't seen this basically like stairs down another level up Leveling up pretty easily. Okay, grab that, grab that. She had some sort of AoE. <laughs> I don't think it works like that though. Uh, let's go after this guy first. Okay. You're level four. So you can look and see what he's. he's he, all right, so he deals magic damage. It's not a big surprise. I don't see any stairs down yet. Oh, I don't. I can't cast that magic. I, I can use a, uh, a spell. I mean a potion. Use a mana potion. Oh, can't get a level six. A goat's in trouble. Where's the stairs down? I don't see any sub dungeons. Maybe there's not always one. Alright, so that's biceps. Let's uh, nuke that. Cool. Another, yeah, 60% damage. Wow, he's got a lot of hit points. Let's try biceps. Alright, so I'll win. It says next hit win, so. Oh, he's got magic resist. That's why that fireball didn't do much. Oh, that's what it was saying. Before we came in the dungeon, I like this guy's really strong against magic. Alright, get the goat horn. Gives you an event log. Pretty simple, pretty straightforward. You want to attack the, the easier guys first. And manage your 
your mana, your SP, whatever it's called in this game. Get some items. Oh, 193 gold, so I can unlock another class. Or something else here, new building. Hail, most industrious kingdom administrator. A local blacksmith, unsatisfied with the extremely poor sales of farming equipment, has a business proposal to bolster the heroes in your kingdom. When you're interested, pay a visit. All right. Trophy sold. Oh, what? I thought I could only do that once. Cool. I guess it's just keeping track of ones that you found. Cool, 150 gold. Yeah, almost. Well, let's see what this uh, blacksmith is all about. A humble blacksmith in your kingdom has taken note of all the recent adventuring and would like to move beyond producing mere farm equipment. If you put some money towards the facility she needs, she should be able to set up a small armory for your heroes. Upgrading this building will allow you to buy equipment. Okay. Uh, I can't upgrade and unlock a new class. I won't have enough, but let's try this out. Do I have to choose one? I don't know exactly what I did. We've upgraded a key structure and now have access to dungeon preparations. Um, let's see. Okay. This building's new preparation panel, you see several slots with a variety of performance boosting dungeon effects such as free items, layout modifiers, and more abstract benefits. Cool. Let's see it. If you want to see how these preparations affect engineering, just start up the next adventure. Alright. Alright, let's try this thousand cuts out. Alright, Cave of the Thousand Cuts received his name from the dreaded monster lord which resides here. While not particularly vicious. His endurance makes him difficult to kill outright. All right. Let's go with the wizard. All right, oh, here we go with the preparation. So, uh, let's go with the Slayer Wand. That does, it only costs five gold. Destroys one regular enemy and just provides base experience, all right. Cool, all right, so these question marks are spells or something. Destroy enemy. Hmm. Let's grab some. Well, attack first. Oh, I forgot. I've got like this spell here. Might as well use it. So what's that? What did I just get? Wait. Wait. What? <laughs> it swaps places with an enemy, adding slow to both. All right. Whatever. Pick it up. One of these things up here. Uh, another one. Go ahead and just eat that one. Go ahead and do that too. Get some base damage. I have a feeling this mage will probably make more use of those mana potions. What's this thing? Follow Nemesis, it appears that you have discovered my base of operations. Sir Digby the Goat, who is totally a boss character. Um, I don't really want to fight the goat right now, I'm level 1. If a monster is a higher level than you, it will give bonus experience. Wow. <clears throat> fight them carefully using helpful equipment. Okay. What's this thing? Let me see. It uncovers three random dungeon tiles. Cool. Let's try that. Huh. Neat. Yes, I am Battle Mage. I don't know why I didn't use my magic. Uh, to destroy items and convert them into stat boost, click uh, and drag items to the conversion icon. Okay. I think I figured out a different way to do it. There's a bonus dungeon, or sub dungeon. Go check that out. Gold! <clears throat> I think there's more gold outside here. I've seen a room that's like this, but I, I can't get there. 
I need a end this wall spell. I don't think I have it. I did not see a lot of enemies right here. Ah, oh, they're hidden. Well, I guess you can. You can nuke potions too. Cool. I'll pick it up. I haven't tried using this uh, Slayer wand yet either. Let's try that. Wow. <laughs> okay. Oh, it's gone though. One time use. It only cost five gold. I'm so mighty, I will kill you with my sword. So you can see what's going to happen when you attack. Helps you to helps you strategize. Let me see. Um, how much do I get? Ooh. From forty to one seventy. Oh. That recycles for a lot. Level up. Right, burn you. Attack. More health. Uh, you guys are level four. Kill him with my sword. More mana. Uh, let me see. Wow. So I have eighty percent bonus on my attack now. Let's see what that does. Additional magic damage when attacked. You done. Yeah, kill some more. Find some more easy monsters. <laughs> Alright, I'm gonna burn you. Um, so I'm level three. Oh, here's level three. Now I'm level four. Oh, you shouldn't be wasting that. That was dumb. I got no way to heal. That was dumb. Maybe I should kill this guy. There's more stuff over here. I'm gonna die. Die. Let's see. Can I? I'm safe to attack. Okay. No, I'm not. Start to get burning. Quaffin potions. Win. <laughs> Give me your goat horn. So far, all the bosses have been goats. Look at this guy. You ever seen a derpier wizard? <laughs> he looks like he's out of his mind. Earnings. Okay. Cool. Congratulations, you've defeated the three terrible goat lords of the surrounding dungeons, and your kingdom breathes a collective sigh of relief. Unfortunately, you're running up against a new kind of problem. As you take the spoils of your hero's dungeon exploits back to kingdom, back to the kingdom treasure vault, you notice that it's becoming a teensy bit full. What, three goat horns and it's full? It's time for the official vault to expand beyond the confines of that old couch in your sped bedroom. For now, you'll need to focus on finding a better source of cash security and hiding in random pots across town. <laughs> Simply won't do. All right. 
Rumors abound in the local tavern that mysterious creatures known as bankers have been sighted in these realms. If you catch one, maybe you can harness its power in some way. A new dungeon! Yay! Trophy sold! Cool. Another go on. Now that you're going further afield, quests and dungeons are becoming accessible from the map screen. Click on the tavern to prepare for your next adventure. Okay, cool. Do I have to? D dangerous investments. Field reports say that a well-dressed creature has been sighted in the den of danger, allegedly trying to assess its value on the real estate market. Ah, try again. Real estate market. It's said to be somewhat magic-resistant and very prone to financial jargon. Challenge and defeat the banker roaming here. We may be able to unlock some of its uh, finance, financial mancy secrets. Okay. The Avenger Cave is well is well known as a gathering point for deadly adventure slayable beasties. It also tends to be a meeting point for dubious dealers and good smugglers. Trackers are almost certain that you'll find a banker wandering around there challenging defeat. Which one to do? Which one to do? Adventure Cave. Oh. Okay. What? Clicking here takes you back to the map screen. Okay. Alright. <laughs> unless it unless it's in like tutorial mode. This takes you to your class and race selection. Okay. Yep, we know this. Random run oh okay. Also done oh. Oh okay. You can like randomly pick one. Cool. I did not know that stuff. Alright, neat. Let's go with fighter again. We'll try the sword one. We'll spend a little cash. Oh, wait. Wait, I want to cancel. Can we upgrade the fighters? Or we could do a church. Can I upgrade the blacksmith? Oh, I didn't notice. It takes two kind of currency? Alright, I just want to upgrade something. We don't have a thief yet. We don't have a church yet. Um, where's the fighter? I thought there was like a fighter guild. Am I just missing it? Just regular guild. Okay, what can I do here? Some challenges, okay. Upgrade, here we go. What's this do? Upgrade to Berserker? Oh, that costs a thousand. We can't do anything with that. All right. Well, we can create a thief. Why not? Thief seems like it would be good against a, a banker. There's different kinds of thieves. Thief, rogue, and assassin. And they all have different traits. Is that cool? Alright. Let's uh, go into the guild. The tavern. Venture capital. Yep. Let's try the thief. And... Go ahead and spend some money on a sword. Why not? Can we talk about one at a time? Oh no, only one at a time. There may be a trait down the road, I'm thinking. I'm a thief. Hey baby. I didn't see what she's got. She, Alright, so we got the sword, just giving a base two damage, that's neat. Is there, can I hit like space bar or something? Did space bar pick that up? I think so. Yikes. How about some level 1 monsters, guys? Wait, 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 what? 
Boss encounters like this are recorded in the codex. The boss. Oh, here's the boss. Oh my god. Level 10. Let's see what this stuff's all about. Physical resist 35%. Oh, I should have brought a mage. Pacifist. I can talk to him? isn't actually a bad profession, it's just scary and misunderstood, and occasionally deadly. Okay. Can we... I don't want to do this anymore. The codex will become increasingly useful as we move further from the kingdom. Okay. I need to find something easier to fight. Ah! There we go. Do I have any spells or anything? No. Just a fancy sword. Oh, that was risky. Oh, let's see some of these potions. Oh, I didn't see you. <laughs> Stupid. Dying off, you become genius. Alright, alright. Oh, restart. Restart. Try again. Cool. Give me a sword. This was a level one creatures. Oh, spell. Nice. It's a little bit harder when you can't see where the monsters are. Ahead of time, you can't plan your uh, your trip to heal yourself up. Level seven. Level nine! Yeah, <laughs> it's like. Danger! Don't click on that. What's going on? Can't go in there? Because it's not real. What is that? Pie sword? Push an enemy back by one tile. Uh, I don't want that. It's giving more damage. this thing. Oh, and this wall. Cool. I want that. I'll take it. Right, I'll burn you. Attack you. Good. Heal up a little bit. Um, almost full health. Oh, I can't. I don't want to attack level 3 guy. Eh. Um, I'm like exposing darkness without any benefit. Ah, I need level 2 guys. The wrong spot. Let's go back here. There we go. <laughs> Must have everything ex all fog of war revealed. What's this thing? I'm a wall. Creates a wall on a dungeon tile. If this target is an enemy, your next kill earns 50% bonus experience. Uh, wait, what? If not, two mana is refunded. Oh. No. I don't know. I, I think I'll pick it up. <sighs> wow. There's a level two there. Shoot, I should have used something. Not too late now. Can I abort this? Yes. Okay, uh, get in there. I can't pick it up. What about my other stuff? Can I remove this thing? I think. Once you once you have all these things, you can't can't get rid of them. All right. Oh, sorry. I just had to eat you. Go down here. Maybe there's some bonus dungeon. Oh, hi. What are you doing down here? Level up. 
Cool. Oh, yeah, that's perfect. Some of these weak guys here. Trivial low-level monster killed in late game from minor experience game. Easily digestible in groups. I'll take it. This it? Guess that's it. All right, is there any level threes up here? You're done. Uh, still pretty far from level four. Oh boy. There's another level three, why didn't I attack him first? I didn't see him. Level one, yeah, I'll take you. You wanna fight? Fight me. Burn you. Where's this banker? Still in level three. Oh, there's a banker. Those who search for the secret of banking need to prevail in not one but two economist combat trials. Hm. He's gonna destroy me. Finally, level four, okay. No. I help the team. Except they can't really heal because all the map's been... Sorry, I'll keep doing this. Some of that? Oh, that wasn't enough. Uh, help. Yeah. Okay. Um, not getting very much mana here. Level four is right. He's a level four, dude. Oh, how did I miss this guy? Cool, level five. Again, since everything is sort of revealed, I'm kind of screwed right now. Let's try this. I'm a wall. <laughs> okay. This needs to work. Get some extra experience. Can I use this one? It's just basic. Just built-in damage, I think. Passive stuff. All right. Um, that's my last. Here's my last mana potion. I may have to just exit this dungeon. Um, let's see. All right. I'll kill this guy. Help. Try not to expose anything more. I don't see any more level fives though. We got lots of health potions. Well, this, this guy's gonna destroy me. 400 hit points. Look at the bones! I'll go after his uh, level 6 subordinate here. I'm old. <laughs> he's, he's stoned. Oh, I don't see anyone else I can attack. Oh, hey. What's up? Some of this. Oh, man. Bloodless. What's that do? Enemy has no blood, it will not leave a blood pool. I don't know how that's significant. It cannot be poisoned. Uh, okay. Oh, I can actually beat this guy. Cool! I'm 
I'm level six. Achievement unlocked. Monster Masher, whatever that is. Okay, I've got no way to heal. I've got five, except for the potions. I've got no way to regenerate mana. Well, hi. Let's talk. All right, see, it's physical resist. Codex, yeah, okay. Oh, so I can't hit, I can attack. Let's do it. <laughs> um, do it again. Wait, I'll space them out a little bit. A physical attack, how quaint. I'm an ancient being of untold power and influence. I would have thought that you'd brought some magic to you. This is gonna be a short fight. Uh, I do have some magic, okay? Next hit is safe. Didn't hurt him that much. Or at all. Next hit is death. Let's heal up. Drink up. He's not burning anymore. Burn him. Have much. One hit from death. One hit from death again. See a pattern? I'm not gonna beat him though. Oh, that's actually gonna die if I hit that. So, what can I do? Fuck, he's. I'm a wall. Protect you. Oh, he's not, he's not going to fall for that. Uh, hey, got a little health back. <laughs> Get these corner pieces, okay. Safe, okay, death. I can burn you again. Is he regenerating if I move away? Probably. I don't think I can do any. There's no, there's no, there's no undiscovered area. Rats. Burn you again. Next hit is death. Okay, nothing I can do. Nothing I can do. All right, see if I can exit. Where's the stairs? Get out of this place. Oh, wait. I went down. I've been here before, I think. I'll go up. What's upstairs? Can I not see it? Wait a minute. No, that's the downstairs. Why did I come in? Am I blind? I just can't see it. I must have come in somewhere. or something. Ding Max. It's level 10? Uh, what happens if I surrender? Oh, no. I can do that on my own. Wait a minute. What is this stuff? More tabs. Okay, cool. Humans get a 10% attack bonus. Yep. Oh, nice. It just lets you review all the different stats and traits. Game's pretty cool. I'm not going to get this dungeon beat, though, at this point. Uh, cool. So, a nice little compend compendium. Alright, well, where's the stairs up? I'm looking, I'm looking, I'm looking, I'm looking. Whatever. Alright, let's go to attack the guy. You didn't win, but don't despair. You're clearly getting better. Yeah, whatever. Um, okay. I wanted to leave and, like, take my gold with me or something. Okay. 
All right. All right, you guys have seen this. What do you think? I think it's a pretty cool game. It can be played in short stints. Um, I was having some problems with the crashing when it was in windowed mode, but that it was probably just fraps. So it was crashing a lot. But, all right, I'm Riff. I'll see you guys next time. Hey guys, it's Riff Raff, and we're playing Desktop Dungeon, and if you can barely hear me, it's because this game does not let you change the sound from the title screen or whatever. It's, uh, or just, it's, I'm like two minutes into this, I'm already like getting annoyed. Plus, it's got this weird 3 by 2 aspect ratio, but anyway, let's, let's create a name. Um, uh, Riff Land, I guess, I don't know, I should probably pick, you fucking. If you enjoyed this video, please leave a like, comment, or subscribe. Thanks a lot.